is going on guys? I am very excited with this video. The guys over at Real Street have got the GT500 on the dyno and made a baseline hit. This is on the Palm Beach Dyno Tune, so pre Motec, who wants to see where it was um, in relation to where it's going to be with the Motec. So the guys got on the dyno. Um, I was actually busy delivering a car to Jacksonville. So um, it's a pretty weird experience for me to not be around the car on the dyno, but uh, Real Street has been doing an awesome job of keeping me updated. And they uh, sent me these videos. Uh, we also topped off the oil with some Driven 5W50 oil. The GT500 need to be topped off with oil, and I'm very excited to be working with Driven Racing Oil. We threw some FR50, so 5W50, in the GT500 to top it off. They also give me a coupon code. This is the same oil we've been running all along with Jordan Modular Headshot. That's what he recommended for the car. Worked out perfectly. We're also going to change the oil right after this dyno pull uh, when they go ahead and put the Motec in. But uh, let's go ahead and shoot over to that footage and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so the car made awesome power. This is on the Palm Beach Dyno Tune. Like I said, no issues whatsoever with the tuning. Obviously, I've been running this exact tune for eight months and the car has been phenomenal. Uh, Jordan Modular Headshop did an amazing job on the engine. So I can't ask for really any better uh, combination there. Um, the only reason we're switching to MoTeC is obviously because I need some sort of traction control. The car makes too much freaking power and I haven't been able to roll race it and enjoy it the way I have wanted to. So what we're gonna do right now, uh, we are going to bring, I have a set of Mickey Thompson ET Street R drag radios, 275, 1615. We're gonna get these mounted on the welds. Um, the welds, I have a 29.5 stiff wall slick. I hated driving them on the street. These are gonna be my street setup. Uh, so hopefully we can get some traction with these bad boys. Uh, so we're gonna go pick that up. We're also gonna pick up the turbo bullet. Uh, we just got the four inch downpipe completed by Switchback Racing. Let's go check that out. Uh, we are running 20 times entries on the bullet, turbo bullet giveaway. We are giving away uh, the turbo bullet and I'm very excited uh, to kind of wrap this up and hopefully finally get this car wrapped up and ready for one of you guys to uh, enjoy it. So just make sure you go down in the description, mustanglifestyle.net, pick up anything on the website. It's gonna get you entered to win this car. We're also bringing it to Mustang Week. As long as everything goes according to plan, uh, which is next week, uh, definitely be excited for that. But let's go get these tires mounted. Let's pick up the turbo bullet. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have some updates uh, here in the next few days from Real Street on uh, finishing up the Motec. All right, so picking up the turbo bullet. Just got the fab work done on the downpipe. It's four inch exit. Obviously we covered up the melted bumper with this nice sheet metal. So we won't have that issue anymore. Looks killer. That's a massive downpipe. The, uh, the welds look phenomenal so i am excited uh like i said i needed a little bit more time to get this car dialed and right and that's why uh you know we delayed the giveaway this car should be ready to go to mustang week after alignment ready to go so i'm very excited yeah. for that what do you think dude so, it looks bro. good yeah, you no yeah uh let me get you your keys yeah and uh start up the out yeah it looks pretty good this car needs to be detailed very badly, so I think we're gonna bring it back over to my house, uh, get it detailed and cleaned, but uh, no, the downpipe looks awesome. Definitely needs a wash. Yeah. Yeah, if you wanna start it up. Should sound pretty good.
good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We got Sean here to clean up the car. It's been a little bit since it's been clean, so it'll be nice to get her all transformed and get some tint on the uh, the windows. Well, look at the BBS wheels. BBS wheels look nice. good. The new downpipe looks sick sticking out. I like it. it looks good. Yeah, you clean these wheels really already. Yeah, the welds and everything look amazing. Stainless downpipe. That was not cheap at all. <laughs> he uh, And then he did that plate too. I think it came out really, really good. Yeah, these tires should do better. They're a 28 inch tall, so pretty standard size and a 275. We won't rub and uh, hopefully we'll get some pretty good traction and not have the wibble wobble uh, like a slick normally does on such a heavy car. So let's go get these mounted on the welds. Since we're here, quick update. Cobra, amazing, love this car. GT350R, some problems, but that's going back to Ford uh, Friday. And uh, we're waiting for some more parts for the 07 GT500 race car project. Um, and then you might be wondering about the SN95. We also are working on that, working on getting the new shop uh, set up. So a lot of things going on. I know there's been big gaps in the video, but you guys uh, supporting me uh, with the uh, bullet giveaway and everything going on it really helps and keep things going we also have freedom parts outlet our new business so a lot of things going on let's uh, get these loaded up in the truck throw like 25 in it that'll go down from there all right so 29.5 stiff balls we will save these for later um, but the 275 60 15 et street r radials are going on hopefully you shouldn't sway on these i got that on there fast oh uh, it takes a couple of days of work <laughs> Alright, so we got the tires mounted on the welds. I'm excited to finally get these on the car. I got them a while ago, um, but I figured I would save them fresh for when the Motec gets installed. Uh, so, we are going to drop those off at Real Street, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited to get these on the car and see uh, you know, what's going on with the install and everything else. But um, yeah, tires are mounted. We are good to go on that. Um, I also picked up a bunch of stuff from the old shop. Uh, we're pretty much all moved out of there working on getting set up at the new shop so you guys will see that big uh reveal here soon so much stuff going on uh like i said you know the giveaway is stressful but it's still going on and uh that's ending up here september 12th so there's not much time to enter to win that um and uh you guys have a good chance um there's nowhere near as many people entered as uh the whipple s550 giveaway which is fine um but uh someone's gonna enjoy you know really fun you know sunday cruiser race car whatever you want it to be it can be that and um yeah so let's go continue on we're gonna go stop by real street probably probably get a coffee before because i'm tired i'm always tired now <laughs> 
I've just been working my butt off. Um, but yeah, we'll stop by Real Street, see what's going on, and um, probably wrap up the video. All right, so a lot of you guys were asking about where the welds have been. Here, we have the welds, so these are gonna go on as soon as the car is done being tuned. Um, so I think we're gonna wrap up this video now. We actually have the car running on the dyno in here, but this is about all you guys are gonna see for now. We will have an updated video coming up next, uh, which is gonna go over the installation overview, uh, the footage that Real Street shot uh, while getting it installed, and anything that I think uh, I would like to clarify or might be confusing about the MoTeC um, so that you guys will be fully filled in and see if this is something you wanna do to your GT500. Then the next video, will be the dyno and uh, then there's more you know we got street testing dialing in the traction control and uh, eventually racing so I hear some noises so make sure you slap the like button down below go get entered into the bullet giveaway 20 times entries going on there's uh, some noise going on over there but 20 times entries going on for the bullet get entered yeah there he's working on that VA table so um, I'm excited to see that and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, MustangLifestyle.net. Hit the like button, comment if you're excited.